Get off Hulk! Hey guys, Ultra Maximus back with another toy review. Today we're taking a look at a Marvel Select figure and it's the Incredible Hulk. I've been wanting this figure for a while and for some reason I have been on an Incredible Hulk run in some comics and uh, cartoons and the Avengers came out this uh, summer and I don't know, I've never been a huge Incredible Hulk fan, but for some reason I've been getting into him lately and I had to have the figures. And I found all of the Hulks on Amazon.com on sale. I got every single one of the Hulks. I got this Incredible Hulk, I got the Gray Ultimate Hulk, and the Red Hulk, and the Red She-Hulk for less than $80? Uh, let me think, it was 20, 40, 60, 80. Yeah, it was $80 shipped uh, for all of those figures and I was very, very super excited. And uh, yeah, definitely pretty cool stuff. This figure is huge and heavy, lots of plastic. It just looks really, really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the Incredible Hulk in the package and it's just, Huge. I mean, just absolutely massive. I'm really, really digging it. We got the Hulk here. He's got a base he comes with. I love the, the little radiation symbol down here. It says the Incredible Hulk Special Collector Edition uh, with the Marvel Select logo up here. And then there's some artwork in the back with lots of green. Um, definitely cool stuff. Uh, the side of the package has got this really cool artwork of the Hulk, but the funny thing is, the head does not match what this actual figure sculpt is. This looks more like the Ultimate, the Grey Hulk, than it does this Select Hulk. Um, nothing over there. Let's see if there's anything. Nothing on the bottom. So let's just take a look at the back. Here we go. Again, pretty cool stuff. Here are the three different male Hulks. We've got the Green Hulk. Now, I think there was a Disney version of this. Um, that had a different paint sculpt and maybe a different head sculpt. But I liked this one because I think the details looked a little bit cooler and the head looked more comic book-like. Um, we get the Red Hulk. Here's the Gray Hulk that they're calling the Ultimate Hulk. Um, pretty cool stuff. Now, these two, I believe, are the same mold. Um, different head sculpts, obviously different paint jobs. And this one looks like it might be different, but it could be a repaint of an older figure. I'm not really sure. Um, kind of close up, here's the bio. Um, if you want to pause and read this, you can. So there you go. Yeah, definitely cool stuff. I am digging him. Big, heavy brute in this plastic. Let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what we think. All right, so here we have the Incredible Hulk out of package, and wow, this thing is huge. I am digging him. It comes with his base that has lots of detail, and I'll take a look at that here in a second. Um, very cool stuff. Loving the figure, loving the detail, and it comes with um, a uh, official Marvel licensed products from uh, Diamond Select Toys. Um, it's got some stuff, that, other stuff that you can get. Um, that... Zombie Magneto looks really, really cool. I'm really digging that. You can get Cable. He looks pretty neat. And then you've got the kind of Captain Action um, Spider-Man and Captain America on this side. There's a ton of Minimates, and I don't really care for Minimates. So, yeah, whatever. Let's look at the Hulk. Oh, wow. Gosh, look at this guy. The detail on this is spectacular. I got, got him in kind of a Hulk smash kind of pose. Really, really digging him. He is pretty articulated for what it is. Um, I'm going to pull him off of the stand there real fast and just kind of show the detail on this base. It does look really good. Um, I do like it. The only problem is it's a very thin plastic. Um, I mean, it is a base, so I can't complain too terribly much, but it is a lot lighter than I had thought it was going to be. 
I'm just going to throw that off to the side so that we can look at the Hulk himself. Um, yeah, just very, very cool. Uh, let's see what other poses. Uh, we can get him in kind of a bodybuilder uh, pose going on there. Just looking really, really cool. Um, there's his head. Yeah, I mean, this guy is awesome. I cannot say how much more awesome this thing actually is. And it is a massive, massive figure. Here we have a little bit of a close-up of the Hulk so that we can see him all in his detail. Um, yeah, I mean, I really, really do like the guy. Um, just tons of muscles and sculpting is really, really cool. Um, just an even closer look. Look at that nasty, gnarly face. Urgh, he looks so pissed off. I love it. Um, the paint apps are just spectacular. All the veins. I like the green. Um, he's got his purple waist, uh right there and these purple pants all shredded the detail and then the pant legs and this is kind of a soft rubber uh, which is very cool because um, it just makes it more cloth like to me and his little Hulk feet oh yes I mean this guy is just the shiznit I cannot tell you how happy I am with this figure now articulation um, his head is on a ball joint but mine is a little bit floppy this way it doesn't affect anything really it's just not as tight as the other joints he's got um, a joint here that can swing around uh, on his arm which is really cool um, he's got an elbow joint that can go in and out and it can also swivel that way his hands do move oh, they're just so stiff uh, he has a waist swivel he also has a joint on his leg he's got knee joints and he has feet joints there is no ankle pivot um, the only thing uh, this Hulk is missing to me is uh, the fists do not open or close. That's a little unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. For a size comparison, here we have the Incredible Hulk next to the Marvel's Spider-Man 2099. Here we have the Hulk next to Playmates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Raphael. He is definitely radioactive green in comparison. Here is the Incredible Hulk next to the Mezco's 112 Dark Knight Returns Batman. And this is not too terribly bad of a scale. I kind of like this. I mean, the Hulk just looks huge uh, next to Batman, who's pretty muscle-bound himself. I'm definitely digging these two together. Here we have the Incredible Hulk next to Carnage. And wow, these two look really, really nice together. And I think this Hulk set's just really going to fill out my Marvel shelf for sure. Here's the Marvel Select Incredible Hulk next to the Walgreens exclusive Agent Venom. Here's the Incredible Hulk next to Rocket Raccoon and Groot. And I am digging this size scale. This is about right. And finally, here's the Incredible Hulk next to the MP10 UKO Masterpiece Ultra Magnus figure. So, as you can see, he is a very substantial figure. He's about the same height, but he's probably a little bit wider and definitely a lot heavier. So, is the Incredible Hulk a figure you want in your Marvel toy collection? Absolutely. If you're an Incredible Hulk fan, you're definitely going to dig this figure. If you like the Avengers, I think you're going to like this. Uh, if you're just a comic book fan, you're definitely going to dig the figure. It is sculpted really, really well. I like all the paint details. The green looks very cool. It comes with a pretty nifty base, and he just has that comic book feel, which I really, really do appreciate. For $20, this is a lot of toy, and I'm very appreciative of that. So it's kind of nice to see a figure that actually you get your money's worth, and that is the case with the Incredible Hulk. So there he is, Marvel Selects Incredible Hulk. If you guys like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. What do you think of the Incredible Hulk? Do you have the figure? Do you have a variation of this figure? Which one's your favorite? Red, green, gray, the She-Hulk? Uh, I'd love to hear from you. Add a comment down below. Definitely thank you for sharing my videos, uh, for subscribing. I do appreciate it. And as always, look for more videos in the future.